Hello, in this presentation I'll show you how to start a ship design using Shipworks. At the beginning of a new project, users must create a connection to the database by specifying the project they want to work on. So if I pick project 8, defined by Shipworks Manager, Users can review the information uh, created by the leader, the project leader in the manager. So after the creation of the main files, Shipworks will ask the user the information to create the frames. So I have the aft frames. I will put three aft frames with a space of 350 millimeters to each one. And then for frames, I will specify 20 frames, 100,000 uh, millimeters apart. And then after these 20 frames, I can specify 15 more frames with three quarters of a meter separation. Okay. Doing this, Shipworks will create all these frames for me. Repetitive tasks get written easily within Shipworks. Before we continue, we must define the midship frame. So let's say that midship frame is frame 13. Okay. Now let's create a new block. Okay, block. Shipworks will automatically create a, a new subassembly with the naming conventions you define in Shipworks Manager. Inside of it, we have always the hull and the frame part. This means that when I open the block, I can work with it. I don't need the main assembly to work inside this block or this uh, any other kind of subassembly. So. Different designers can work in different blocks of the same ship at the same time. Okay. I will now create a couple of decks. I must specify the deck description, the section of the deck, in this case a circular deck, the camber, and if I want I can specify uh, also to, um, to create a new sub-assembly to hold the, the parts of that deck. So, when I create a deck, a sketch is open that allows me to define the shape of the, of the deck. So, using SOLIDWORKS tools, I can dimension my deck. Okay, when I'm done, I just exit and the new deck was created. Okay, here I have the deck and the, the part of the deck, D1, from block B01. So, always keeping the naming convention specified in the Shipworks Manager. Okay, now let me create another deck. Okay, it's a planner one, and let me specify it over here, for instance. Once again, I can put some dimensions, okay, the position of the deck according to the, to the origin, or according to a frame. And a new deck was was created. Okay, I can uh, at any time hide the the hole, okay, and see uh, how the how my decks are. I will now create some bulkheads. So let's say 
bulkhead 1 I don't want a new uh, assembly file upper deck lower deck I want to create uh, a bulkhead in um, just one no, no let's get just one so I can specify the frame let's say I wanted that frame uh, um, this one here frame 8 okay zero uh, millimeters uh, from this frame I want that the port side at the hole and it will end in the same frame at starboard side at the hole okay so doing this a frame uh, was created oh, sorry the bulkhead was created is one way of creating the, um, the bulkheads so I will create another bulkhead Okay. This one, let's say BLK2, um, upper deck, lower deck, frame, let's say 16. Okay, it will land at frame 16, start port side the hole, at the end at starboard side at the hole. Okay. Okay, let's create two more uh, bulkheads. So BLK3. For this one, I, I want to create a symmetric bulkhead. So if I say that it will start in this deck, it will, it will end in that deck. Start at frame 16 and it will end at frame, let's say, 23. Okay, it will start right on frame 16 with a, um, uh, let's say, one and a half meters apart from the center line. Okay, and it will end also at one and a half meters away from the center line towards uh, the port side. Okay, and as I want a symmetric bulkhead, it will create another bulkhead in the starboard side at the same distance of the center line. Okay, all geometry created is uh, dimensioned accordingly. Okay, I will now create a few more bulkheads. Okay. Five. So this bulkhead will start in this deck, and I will not specify the lower deck. So Shipworks will create the deck until the the hole. I can specify if I want to create multiple decks at once. I can specify the frames where I want them. Okay. And saying that it will start at the hole at port side, it will end at the hole at starboard side. So doing this, all these repetitive tasks will be done easily by Shipworks. So right now, these are only these entities are only surfaces, only to specify the position of these uh, bulkheads. If I want to transform this uh, surface into sheet metal plates, all I have to do is, is to to come to this command. Okay, specify the thickness. Once again, these thicknesses are the ones specifying the shipworks manager. Let's say 10 millimeters, and the thickness orientation. Okay. In this case, I can specify towards the midship frame, apart from the midship frame, to aft or towards the fore. Okay. So if I do OK, 
all these sheet metal plates will be created. Okay. So once again, if you see the naming conventions, is creating the plate one, plate two, three, four, and plate five. Okay. Let's now thicken the other bulkheads. So I just pick them, and I will specify that for the transversal bulkheads, I want the thickness away from the midship frame. Okay. Just to create an intersection here in this in this area. So, when uh, at the same time when the shipworks is creating all the sheet metal plates, it's adding some information as we will see uh, later on. So, here we have this uh, intersection, okay. And if I open one of these files, okay, you can see that in the properties I have some information. The, the dimensions of the plate, the minimum rectangle of the plate in the X, Y, Z, the, the minimum area, surface area, and the okay, material and all that stuff. Okay. Now let's do some trimming. So I want to trim this plate here and I want to trim this plate here. So. Let's go to structure, plate trimming, define the cutting plate and offset distance if I want, and the plates to, to trim. So now almost instantly I have the plates trimmed, both of them. Okay. That's all for this part of the presentation. In the next presentation, uh, I will show you how to do some or how to deal with the beams and profiles.